When Black makes the one-point approach on White's 3-4 opening, as we've seen, White often likes to press up against the invader. However, instead of contacting on the inside of Black's stone, White can also make contact on the outside. If Black bends around with the diagonal, then White can protect her stone by dropping down to create an iron pillar shape. Black may then claim territory along the right side by forming a tiger's mouth shape along the fourth line. This is a simple sequence that is a favorite of the famous professional player Sakata. So let's take a few minutes and look at a few variations. For example, if White chooses to respond by squeezing Black's approach stone on the third line, she manages to secure the corner fairly, fairly well. However, Black still has the initiative and may use it to put pressure upon that stone with a diagonal play to the third line. White should respond by extending an iron pillar out toward the side to protect the corner territory. Black still has the initiative and continues to put pressure on White's structure by making a one-point jump outward from her diamond shape. If White does not make a two-point leap outward on the fourth line, then Black may play there herself and completely seal off White's corner territory. And even then, Black may approach from the left side along the third line at a knight's distance, aiming toward another two-point jump invasion toward the corner. Also, Black has an opportunity along the right side on the second line. Playing here, she may be aiming to surround White's pillar. Instead of securing the corner, perhaps White wishes to secure a larger section of the bottom. Rather than squeeze Black's approach stone, White may leap upward and outward diagonally. Black will want to invade the large space which White is attempting to claim, but first may choose to push a bit further to shut White away from the right side. White can also still return to the corner to squeeze Black's original stone and secure her hold on the bottom. Perhaps White chooses to make an even higher wall. By playing another diagonal called a double humming, it creates a clear cutting point, which convinces Black to take the bait. If we follow the most common responses, both White and Black end with larger territories than before. After the basic sequence finishes, if White plays elsewhere next, called Tenuki in Japanese, it gives Black a chance to catch White in a ladder, called Shicho in Japanese. If black plans well, this can be a very valuable play. If black is hesitant to give white so much territory along the bottom, then she can extend an iron pillar shape instead of a tiger's mouth shape. This opens a tempting cutting point that might lure white to emphasize the right side instead of the bottom. And again, with careful playing, 
might create an opportunity for invasion along the bottom. Notice that black still has a weak cutting point on the right. These are several possible ways for the game to progress around the 3-4 stone. Please view our other videos for more examples. Post questions, suggestions, and helpful video responses to stimulate discussion and learning. Thanks very much.